back to another one of these motherfucking things. All right. So currently, I think we're sitting on about 998 subs. Fucking fantastic shit. Pretty keen to fucking cross over that line. Just get the 1K and I don't give a fuck then. We'll be good. Um, <clears throat> tonight's going to be a little bit of a different one. Different spot too. Fucking move around the room. Why not? Get a fucking beer in our heads. Grab yourself a fucking beer out the fridge and we'll fucking hang out for a bit. Right, so this one, it's just generally like, um, I've had a couple of people reach out and pretty much ask me if they could send me a couple of CDs, what have you, all that kind of shit. So it's just me showing my appreciation, a couple of little shout outs, and just a couple of showings of some of the shit that's come in from me. Yeah, so it's just a show of support. A fucking cheers to you, lads, because I fucking appreciate it. And it's not a fucking, you know, I don't expect anyone to fucking just, you know, throw me CDs, throw me tapes, any of that kind of shit. Because a lot of the shit, I probably won't fucking listen to it if it's garbage. It'll fucking probably just, I'll use it kind of as an ashtray or fucking, you know, or fucking heroin pipe or something like that. I'll fucking make a, yeah, make a smacky pipe out of it. I don't even do heroin, but I'll do it. Because they pretty much will go with the, the first, uh, there was actually a label, an Italian label that reached out to me via Instagram. And they pretty much just said, fucking, hey mate, do you mind if I send you a few CDs? So he didn't ask for fucking me to jump on here and fucking rant or rave or any of that kind of shit. But I feel, you know, show some, some support. And the fucking, the bands that he did show me are quite fucking good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fucking jump off here. I'm gonna grab another fucking beer out of the fridge. Wind myself up here, make sure we're good to go, make sure I'm staying fucking hydrated, and then we'll jump into these cunts and I'll show you what I've got going on. Cheers. Screwdriver tonight. Fucking straight off. Clean as fuck every time. Not really. Alright, so as I said, there was, um, yeah couple of blokes reached out and asked if they could send me a couple of items, which I'm fucking more than, more than happy with. Um, don't expect it. Not a fucking, yeah, don't expect it at all. But if it does happen and it's good music, it will get shown. If it's shit, probably fucking not. But I'm always appreciative of people are, you know, giving me that, giving that gesture out because fuck, you know, it's their money. They don't have to do that. And I don't fucking expect the shit. Right? Right, but anyway, the first um, release is from an Italian label, not distro, just label, deals with um, a lot of, yeah, basically it's exclusively Italian um, black metal bands. Um, it is, goes by the name of Black Mass Prayers, you see on the back there, see that fucking little symbol? Bit hard to fucking make out, but yeah. But yeah. Um, the three that he sent me are all fucking, they're all phenomenal. They're, they are really good releases. I'm not just saying that, not just plugging him. It's fucking, it is, it's good shit. They have got mul mul multiple spins. So this first one is, whoop, uh, La Hola. And the title is Remords. So La Hola comes, I think it comes from like a, a French novel written fucking in the 1900s. And that French novelist, the novelist, I can't fucking, it's a French dude, I fucking, I can't pronounce his fucking name, but he was one of the ones that also inspired the works of H.P. Lovecraft, that motherfucker, uh, Cthulhu, the fucking, yeah, that business, also had something to do with that. Also had something to do with this band. Classified as a, um, as a depressive black metal outfit, which you do hear in parts, but I'd almost go a more along the lines of fucking a melancholic black metal um, and atmospheric and ambient black metal. Because all that shit fucking really fucking blankets the music beautifully. I love the fucking vocals. The vocals are almost, you can kind of hear them like they, they kind of sit behind the music and then they push out and kind of overtake the music wisp out and then fuck off fairly reminiscent of the way that Big Fella from Sanguine Relic um, does his vocal it kind of happens within this as well it is it does come across as pain but I don't know not 
just that depressive element you usually get, you know, the shrieks and the howls and the, the pain moans. It doesn't really use that. It uses, yeah, it's almost like a fucking, a fine gas being released or a pressure gauge by fucking being slightly turned throughout the fucking, the melody of the music. It's fucking gorgeous. It's really, this is really a stunning listen. I'd like to see if a vinyl release did get a fucking a pressing of it, I'd fucking, I would jump on it. So I said Lahola. Yeah, two dudes. Look at status, motherfucks. Good shit. Wild, uh, wild logo. But yeah, it's the only release they've had so far. Just out, yeah, one EP, bang, CD, on Bandcamp as well. If you want to give it a yeah, shot for free, jump on Bandcamp and give them a sp- smash. But yeah, it's, it's 29 minutes of, it really is lush, beautiful music. I certainly don't have a fucking problem with it, and you shouldn't either. And as said, you know, fucking, a lot of this, this stuff, it just, it wouldn't have crossed my path without getting a bell from someone and saying, mate, can I send you a few fucking CDs from his label? Which is fucking, you know, it's, it's, it's extremely, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm gratified. I'm fucking, I'm happy with that shit. Even though I'm listening to sad shit, I'm fucking still up and about. I'm fucking getting good. So, yeah, give that a fucking crack. I'll chuck up a little snippet with this bad boy. I'll chuck links down to, to this label and some of this music. We'll do that. We'll jump into the next gun. Cheers. into the fucking the, the second CD that was sent this way another one that's been getting fucking multiple spins really enjoyed it I'm not fucking I'm not a fucking maestro on the shit because fucking it's as I said it's music that has come my way that I, I haven't really given a lot of time to only fucking from when it's been sent my way sitting here fucking putting that cut on here having a listen and seeing what the fuck it's about that's it basically I haven't been studying it, so that's it. But this is good. So this band is classed as a Black and Doom outfit, four-piece, I do believe. Goes by the name of Forest of Insomnia, and the title is Black Gaia. So I think you got one, two, three, four, five songs and an outro. Then see you the fuck later. So you have some, yeah, some banging fucking, um, banging black metal vocal throughout the whole thing that kind of sits above everything else. But it doesn't leave the fucking, the rest of the music in its wake. Everything gets a turn. There's even some fucking bass noodling like solo, like some type bullshit going on. Fucking just banging around with the bass. What the fuck, is that a bass solo? Yeah, that motherfucker's getting a turn. Not, not left in the corner just to jerk off to stay hard while the rest of the boys are getting the action. He's getting in and he's fucking having a bit of a solo too. Good on him. But all the fellas seem very proficient with their instruments. I do believe, I think the drums are still, might be programmed. Yeah. So the only thing that isn't fucking present as far as a muso is a fucking drummer. They program their drum. Like the next um, project I will show, it doesn't hurt the music at all. I don't give a fuck. If it sounds all right to me, it sounds all right to me. I don't give a shit. You might pick up on it and go, those drums are programmed. I don't give a fuck for this now. Who gives a shit? That's okay too. If that's what you do, that's your thing. I'm not too sure though, just going off the cover and a couple of the song titles, whether this might be... Um, I don't know if it's Christian or not. You've got the archangels on the back, then you've got these motherfuckers down the bottom. I think there's a bit of a blue going on between heaven and hell there. Um, you've got one song called A Prayer. I should probably read into the lyrics a bit more, but I can't be fucked. I don't like homework and I don't like doing that shit. But yeah. Um, but this is uh, song three, which I do like the most. And I do like the title the best because it's called From Dewey Dreams. And this gives me fucking moist as fuck dewy dreams. 
I'm not good. Wake up, I'm stuck to the bed. You have to get a fucking scraper just to peel me off the fucking bed. Dewey dreams of shit. Need a good wash after listening to that. And yeah, fantastic listen once again, though. I do appreciate that. This is fucking good. Bangs around. As I said, there's a fucking, I think there's a bit of a, a bit of a guitar um, interlude here, but it fucking jumps in. It almost sounds like Sabbath-esque or Ozzy Osbourne Crazy Train type deal. Got a bit of that shit going on. So yeah, it really does lean into you. I reckon almost your, almost your 70s and 80s um, trad metal type shit. And yeah, it's definitely worth your time. Slows down, picks up. It does get quicker as well. So it's yeah, it doesn't just fucking meander around in the fucking murk. It does get to your mid paced. Even gets up a bit quicker than a mid pace. Why fucking not? First EP by these lads. Chuck up a fucking snippet of that cunt. And we'll see what you reckon. Cheers. was sent. This is the one that Matt and uh, Liam have both put up. Still a fucking brilliant listen, don't get me wrong. Totally different to the other shit. But, yeah. It's probably the one that I would probably expect it to probably like more so than the other two, but the other two just do seem to get more spins so much more so than this motherfucker. Still good nonetheless, and it is Pahal E poi ta E poi ta ta E Maybe Sorry Fucking hell I don't know what that is But I know It is pal Band Razor sharp as fuck This is nasty It's savage as shit um, drums are programmed. Well, calm down. It's going to be okay. The music's still really fucking good. So just fucking can't cool your jets. Get into it and relax. Pug likes it. I like it. It's good. Um, yeah, One Man Project. This is his second full length, I do believe. Um, has had a couple of splits, demos, I think. Could be fucking wrong. I think that's right, though. But yeah. Pretty cool cover. You got fucking Satan sitting in a infernal council, giving his fucking spiel, sitting there with his dick and balls out. Or he's got like a little, just a bath towel. Probably had a shower or some shit, or I don't know, fucking went for a swim. But yeah, looks like he's sitting on the back of some bald guy's fucking fat head too. But yeah, very cool cover. Very minimalist. I like it. And the work is by who was the work done by? find that for you John Martin 1824 so that's a fucking painting from 1824 fucking old as fuck yeah good stuff so they were painting something around 1824 pretty hard you know they were going hard with that black and white covers just making black metal covers in 1824 they knew this release was going to come out and they were just going to fucking you know but how was going to do something in fucking 2023 I better get, better get a cover ready in 1824, just in case. Don't knew this man was going to come out and fucking rip it up. But this is razor sharp. Like, razor sharp riffs. Everything's quite quick. It does, like, if anything fucking does happen, this does get into depressive elements, especially with the vocals. They do get quite demented in parts. But this is like sliding down a fucking razor blade in the nude arsehole first. <laughs> Straight down there. Can be quite abrasive in parts. Nasty. The production's a lot less in the mix than the other ones. It's a lot rougher. Yeah, definitely. Extremely. Yeah, it is raw black metal to the fucking core. Um, yeah, the vocals do sit in with the rest of the music. What do you got? I think you got like fucking eight songs or some shit. 
a little bit of an instrumental, but it does slow down in parts. There's a lot of fucking, yeah, there's a lot happening on this fucking release. So, yeah, I think you have, like, yeah, you know, it does it delves into, like, second wave, delves into, like, I reckon almost um, depressive. Yeah, it's fucking, it just it bangs around in a lot of what you fucking think. It's good. Digipack. Lyrics. Little fucking, little scallow there with a fucking sword or some shit. The vocals are sick, though. They are sick. And we'll give it that. Very good. So, yeah, that was the third release that was sent to me from Black Mass Prayers. Fucking fine little label, just doing, doing fucking good work. Another one, if it was on Vins, I would, I would pick the cunt up. No questions about it. So, yeah, go out, jump on Bandcamp for all these. Give them a belt, see what you reckon. All good shit. About 40 minutes worth of music on this one. So fucking get on it. Don't move around. Fucking get over there and have a look. I'm going to chuck up a fucking snippet for you now. And that's it. Now I've got another one to come. Cheers. Back into it. In the fucking unknown realms here, like this is, yeah. It's big boy, I've got a fucking hell. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. But good, um, there you go. Big Baz, that goat metal show. Got his gear on, he sent this cunt through, and he sent a fucking, he sent another t shirt in. Fuck, I can't find a cunt. Oh, I'm sorry, Baz. The motherfucker is in the house somewhere though. Beers on the way, right? Also, Barry was kind enough to reach out to Death Farm Records and get his 30th anniversary fucker sent through. 30th anniversary discography. So it has seven ties, their full length. Um, I think it has another one of their demos, and it has uh, yeah, live in live in 05. So these motherfuckers, they are deathcore, and they were doing deathcore before Suicide Suicide Silence. Still in the daddy nutsack. Hadn't been spat out yet, I don't reckon. Not yet. Potentially, maybe. They might have been spat out. But they would have, you know, they would have been fucking sitting in play school drawing dicks, dicks and balls on fucking with crayons on paper. While these cunts were ripping up fucking New York. Pretty sure Bass from New York. Ripping the fuck out of Brooklyn, all that kind of shit. Quite a cool release, so. Um, the singer... It wasn't different. I know Barry has done um, vocals for Go to Mentis at points. They've gone through a number of musos. Probably should have looked it up who the music, uh, who the vocalist was for this. I know it wasn't Baz, but um, yeah, the vocals are fucking pretty wild on this thing. Almost has a bit of a, for me, almost has like a bit, a bit of a Swedish death metal or Euro death metal flavour more so than your American shit, I reckon. Yeah, the vocals are filthy. And the deathcore elements to it, you do really hear the fucking death metal and you do hear the fucking hardcore elements all the way throughout the fucking thing. Yeah, so quite good shit. Um, yeah, I'm fucking... I'm proud to have been sent it by Buzz. Got the boys in there, look. Big Buzz are there, look at him. Hard as fucking nails, big nuts. Love it. New York hats wrapping up. Wrapping up for the boys over there. Go to Mental Sigils. Got the live CD there. It's a live CD? Yeah. I haven't had a look at that one yet. I do believe he's just had a... Um, one of his demos uh, released on tape by another um, label as well. But yeah. Shit gets in hard though. It's, it's fucking... It's quite brutal. It is quite filthy. And yeah. We'll make you do these ones. Not pug, because he's fucking tired. But yeah, get a beer in your head to this. Fucking smash your head around with the fucking the beer fridge. Just fucking door into the, into the head. That's what you want to do. Stump on your own nuts. Keep going to Mendes and fucking listen, because it's good. And yeah, Deathcore before Deathcore was fucking Deathcore. 
It was fucking, this is the death core. The chorus to the death. Fucking jam that around your arsehole. Fucking jump on that. Good shit. Cheers, Baz. Love you, bro. Thank you. Repping that shit. Got this on. I've got the other T-shirt up there. Couldn't find a cunt for this. Fucking sorry, mate. But yeah. Bang. Bang. Go to Mentes. Very different from the other shit. But yeah, I do believe they're just reunited as well. Doing interviews galore. So the boys are back. Give them a spell. Why not? Fucking get on it. I'm going to have a beer for Baz too. Cheers, mate. Let's fucking leave it with that. Tremendous. Baz just doing his thing. Fucking ripping out. Um, as far as t-shirts go for you, Baz, I may have fucked up a little bit because the t-shirt size that have come through, I didn't get enough. I've only got mainly larges. Um, I've got an extra large coming through. That's for Dill, though, because he's won the prize. But I've got these cards. I want to show you these as well. So these are the fucking things. Look at that fat little cunt. But yeah, in here, these are the t-shirts I got made up. Fucking hell. Bang. Black and bang. Me being a fuckwit on the on the back there. Name of the channel. Me being a cunt. All good shit. So one of those will be going off to um, Dill. I've got you sorted. I've got you that. A couple of fucking stickos for you, big boy. Seven inchy. Harvest. That's yours, Dill. Um, with you, Bazza. I'm looking at putting out another um, run of t-shirts. I'm going to do a 10, um, run of 10 for the next uh, batch. Unless you want a large. If you want a large, I can send you one of them, Bazza. That's up to you, big boy. But that's what I do have. Um, apart from that, yeah, I'm down to one large. All right, so, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do there. I fucked up with the sizing. But they've come through, they're fucking they're quality shit though. Fucking good looking bastard on the back there, look at him. Fucking plough that. Yeah. So tags, yeah, large. Um, so yeah, I'll get one off for you, Dill. I've got I'll get your pack off on Wednesday, Dill. Go and fucking support Dill HM2 Pal do. Fucking good legend. Chuck his link down the fucking back, we will. Fucking get over there. I've got that. Got these. Um, yeah. I'll get in touch with you, Baz. See what you want to do. If not, but yeah, I will do a small run of t-shirts again. I'm with a different print. So if I do do t-shirts, they will be just different prints. Don't have to fucking buy one if you don't want. Don't fucking get that wrong. It's up to you. But yeah, Baz, I'll try and get one out to you. Do your sorted for Wednesday. Suss that. I'll fucking throw you an email. Get in touch. As far as that goes, that'll be it for this fucking thing. Thanks for sticking around. Cheers. A little bit of a different one. A bit of a thank you. A bit of a support for other channels that they're fucking doing their thing. Labels. That are fucking working hard. Fucking putting our CDs. All that kind of shit. You're all fucking... You're all legends. You're doing more than me. So fucking get on it. Keep doing it. Keep swinging your fucking dicks high. I'm out. I'm going to fucking crack one of these. See if we can get one of these down quickly. Ready? Cheers. See ya.